Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Sandhya. So today I am going to take you around Gangtok. So first of all, this is my first road trip with my dog, Bruno. And I am going to tell you how we spent 24 hours in Gangtok. I know that I can't be without you. This bond is solid gold. We're a diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you. Hey guys, so uh, this is a very special trip for me. I am going to Gangtok today and the reason this trip is special is because I'm going to traveling with somebody very very close to me and that's Mr. Bruno. Bruno! He's all ready wearing a bow. So we are just getting his bed ready at the back of this car and we made sure that we only put one suitcase which doesn't wobble uh, and disturb him and the remaining uh, luggage we put in the front seat uh, so in this way Bruno can sit comfortably in the car. We are in the cab right now and uh, we booked in our because we want Bruno to uh, have good uh, space to uh, sit and chill there. So he's already wearing the bow. He's so cute and excited. Uh, so guys, if you are planning to uh, come to Gangtok, uh, so the nearest airport uh, is Bagdoda Airport. Uh, from there, uh, there is an in, uh, in, there's a prepaid taxi center inside the airport where you'll get uh, most reliable and the cheapest prices. Uh, so approximately for a smaller car, uh, it will be around 2500 to 3000 rupees and if it's a bigger car, it will be more. Uh, and uh, it will take around 4 to 5 hours, uh, depends on the traffic to reach uh, to Gangtok. Uh, but then, I think today it will take uh, more time because we are traveling with Bruno and we have to do a lot of pit stops. Uh, as I said, that this is my uh, first uh, trip with uh, our dog and uh, I am really excited because I really don't know uh, like what are the challenges or you know uh, that we, we might have to face. Um, uh, so I keep updating you about my journey. Uh, so I'll see you guys soon. So before we go ahead, I just want to tell you that this is my first time in Sikkim and Sikkim is known as the second smallest state in India and also it is the first ever organic state in India which means no littering around, no smoking in public areas and also the farming is totally organic in Sikkim. So I am going to visit Gangtok which is the capital city of Sikkim. Hey guys, so I forgot to introduce Bruno. So Bruno is our 5 year old Labrador Retriever who loves eating food and is always hungry. He loves traveling and he thinks he's an independent dog but the smallest things can freak him out. So he is one cliche dog with always greeting people with teddy bear and is very very over friendly with strangers too and I'm one protective bomby. So this is our first time uh, road trip with Bruno and we are really excited about this trip. So after the long 4-5 to five hours of journey uh, with multiple pit stops, we've reached Gangtok but throughout the journey we found beautiful landscapes especially uh, when you uh, drive across the Thista river. It is one of the beautiful locations to drive and if you have time you can even stop by and take beautiful pictures. So we have booked this hotel called the Tranquilla Cottage and this is one of the dog friendly hotels in Gangtok. Uh, so the owner of this hotel has given us warm welcome with this silk scarf from Sikkim. And uh, this is the room tour guys. So this is a beautiful room and uh, this balcony opens up to this gorgeous view and you, it is you can just see the entire landscape of Gangtok from here so and Bruno is tired and hungry so we have given him food before we head out to the NG road uh, in Gangtok So guys, like every other hill station, even Gangtok has MG Road and this is the place to shop and this is the place to try different restaurants. But if you notice, it is absolutely clean. So this is what I meant, green state. No throwing garbage everywhere, no smoking in public places. Just look at this place, it's so clean and beautiful. I ordered these Sikkimese rallies, so uh, it is beautifully presented in the grass cutlery. So it comes with the rice and uh, three types of achar. Uh, Sikkim is famous for this achar and dal and pork curry and fermented soya beans. Uh, additionally, and this is called king salad. 
and uh, additionally I ordered this very famous salad it is called uh, mutter achar and this is Sikkimese uh, chicken curry um, so I just want to begin and taste how we are back from dinner uh, and um, yeah it is pretty late uh, so Bruno and I are just chilling at this balcony I think he's very tired today um, so tomorrow morning, uh, because it's Sunday, I think uh, the sightseeing place will be open by 10, 10.30 so I will have breakfast in this hotel and then uh, we will head to sightseeing tomorrow. So good night guys. One of the drawbacks of traveling with a dog that he gets up so early. So after taking Bruno for a long walk in the woods, we got ready and uh, we have uh, headed to the sightseeing places. So today is our uh, first day in uh, Gangtok and uh, we are on our way for sightseeing. Uh, so we are going to a uh, room tech monastery now. Rumdek Monastery is 23 kilometers away from Gangtok town, so I suggest you start early to cover this. This monastery is one of the largest ones in Sikkim and the entry fee is only 10 rupees. The architecture of this monastery is one of the finest in the world and resembles the original one in Tibet. Cameras are not allowed inside. So the main building of this Rumtek monastery is three storage. So it houses some of the rarest Buddhist religious artwork in the world form of wall murals and thangkas. So thangkas are basically the intricate hand paintings. And inside this monastery, you will find thousand and one miniature golden models of Buddhas. And if you climb on the top of the Rumtek monastery, you can see the breathtaking views of this Gangtok town. And it's one of the must places that you should visit if you're in Gangtok. So guys, we could not take Bruno inside the monastery because dogs are not allowed. Uh, so we left him as with the driver. So now we are going to Banjakri waterfalls. So Banjakri waterfalls is one of the most visited places in Gangtok by tourists and it's around 5 to 7 kilometers from the main Gangtok area. Um, I was so excited for the fact that uh, there was no restrictions for Bruno and I could take him to show him the waterfalls. So there is a slight trick which is involved and it hardly takes 10 minutes to reach the waterfalls. So uh, the Nepalis describe Banjakari as the forest priest who excelled in mastering the evil spirits. They also believe that to teach young boys the secret of mastering, he resided in the forest and made them practice the skills. So this 100 foot long Banjakari waterfalls is spread across hundreds of acres of the land. So here there are a lot of food joints and you can enjoy fresh noodles, tupkas and also the breakfast. Uh, but uh, I could not take Bruno inside the water as bathing is not allowed. Uh, so we are heading back to our next place from here. So we are at the third uh, uh, pit stop. So this is called uh, Tashi View Point. So apparently the view, the sunset view over here is very, very beautiful. But I don't think so today we can get the view because it's very cloudy and gloomy. Uh, so there's a little few steps that you have to climb up to get the view. So I spotted this very interesting uh, souvenir shop uh, uh, at uh, the Tashi viewpoint. So it has amazing collection. So make sure you check this uh, store before you head out. So this is another pit stop where uh, you can stop by. This is a small waterfall. It's called Lhasa Waterfalls. Um, but I just love the way all these uh, Tibetan flags are there. It's the best place you can take nice pictures. 
and I love the color contrast and you know you can actually go and play with the water also. We are at one more uh, pit stop, it's called Ganesh Talk, so it's a small Ganesh temple. Uh, apart from offering the prayers, uh, people uh, love the view behind this temple. So if you just strike a little bit and then you'll get a 360 degree view of Gangtok. Um, so yeah, this is again one of our spin Guys, I think to, this is the last stop for today. This the temple behind me is Hanuman Talk, and uh, we are just uh, going inside the temple now. So this is Gang Talk in 24 hours guys and if you stay for one more day you can do activities like paragliding, rope way, river rafting and also you can do trekking and if you want to try your luck you can even uh, go to casino. Um, so I am so excited about tomorrow because we are going to take uh, Bruno to Changu Lake and hopefully he will meet some yaks over there. So please like, share and subscribe this video and I will see you guys in my next vlog. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye.